Good day, brothers and sisters. This is Steve Sandoval, and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Today, our Gospel reading tells us of Jesus describing the Kingdom of God as a banquet. Whenever I think of a banquet, I immediately think of the joy that emanates from celebrating a milestone in one's life. It was two years ago when my one and only daughter got married. I remembered how we anticipated for a whole year the celebration of this milestone. It was such a joyful journey at preparing for this celebration. And when the day finally came, we felt so excited, so joyful, so fulfilled at arriving at this milestone in our family life. Jesus compares this Christian life to a joyful anticipation of being invited to attend and prepare for a banquet. God our Father is the one who invites. And he describes this as God's intervention to save his people. He says it's like a wedding banquet where his son, who is the groom, takes on the bride. And that is the church, us who is his followers. Imagine God preparing a banquet for us. He will host us. He who loved us first. He who loves us so much and desires us to be part of this banquet and celebration. But sadly, many will reject God's invitation to join His banquet as Jesus' parable has shown us. The excuses given by the people in the parable are not bad reasons. They could be good things. They could be excuses that even in our present time today, we can give. One can reject the invitation of God's eternal banquet because he's so busy with his business or career. One can even reject the invitation of God no, to this eternal banquet because he wants, he's so engrossed at the latest gadgets he's trying out. Or he's so engrossed in seeking to buy a home or a new car. And one can even reject this invitation because of legitimate reasons such as assuring oneself of security of his family in terms of material security. Yes, prioritizing temporal material security for one's family before eternal spiritual security of one's soul can be a distraction. And so today, the gospel is a wake-up call for us. We need to take time to answer the invitation of the Lord to His banquet. Like in the parable, we may fail to hear the Lord knocking the door of our souls, sending us His invitation. And when the right time comes, the question is, Will we be distracted? How do we avoid the downfall of the first people in the parable who were invited to this banquet? Join me, brothers and sisters, and let us pray. Dear Lord, please send your Holy Spirit to guide us that we may not substitute the temporal good of our physical needs for what is more 
impactful to the eternal reality of our soul. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen.